What's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome into the workout for the day. Hope you're ready for some Tabatas, because that's what we have in store. We got four of them for you. So for those, you're working for 20 seconds at a time, and then taking a 10 second rest, repeating that for eight rounds. After that eight rounds, that four minute segment there, get a nice one minute break before going into the next Tabata. So these are the movements that we have for today. We're starting with out and overheads. We're gonna go over all these, don't worry. Second one is mountain climbers. Third one is dive bomber push-ups. And the fourth is gonna be good old lunges. Working the legs there to cap it all off. So we're gonna go ahead, get warmed up here, and then cover all the movements again, just to make sure we're on the same page, and then jump into the workout. All right, we are gonna start with arms. So we're gonna do some range of motion work, starting with palms facing down, going across the body. Now turn your palms up and go across the body. And these are just helping warm up your joints and shoulder muscles. All right, with parallel arms, we're gonna go up and down now. While doing these, think of keeping your abs braced squeezing your butt, keeping that whole midline tight. Now alternate your arms, still going up and down. Awkward swimmer. into arm circles. So going forward, starting in a small circle. Circles get bigger and bigger. About medium right now. And full circles. Small, going backwards with our arms this time. Still the same strong core that Nathan was talking about. But medium circles. And maximum diameter. So squat down just to where you can hold it. I know we're still cold right now, so don't worry about that too much. Weight should be through your heels, nice strong back. And one hand down on the ground and reach up with the other hand. And switch. And keep on switching. You can push out your knee with your hand that's touching the ground if you'd like. And two more. Continuing with the squats, we're going to do some Cossack squats now. So those are going side to side. Nathan's going to try and stay as low as possible. His straight leg foot 
can either stay planted or come up like that. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Two more. Okay. Moving on, we're going to do five inch worms. So if you remember, that's when you reach down to the ground and slowly walk your hands out. And I do want you to do a push up on these at the bottom. Push up and walk your hands back. So five of those. and just continuously do eight and eight and eight and eight until I tell you to stop. So that will look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just back and forth. Let's do it. Go. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, we're gonna do lunge and twist. So you lunge and then twist your upper body over the leg that you stepped with, and then the other direction. And then step up, and then the other leg, and just keep going. And you go. As you do these lunges, make sure you're thinking long, wide steps each time. You want to create a solid base. Two more. Last but not least, it's a very simple one, you guys. 20 sit-ups. Whatever form you'd like to do, just trying to activate the core a little bit more.
arm. All right, we're gonna cover those movements now. Make sure you have everything you need for the workout, understand everything, and then we'll get going. So, starting with the out and overheads. You will need a weight again for today. Uh, should be light though, so it can be anything you have lying around if you don't have a weight plate or dumbbells or kettlebells or things like that. Um, have anything from your kitchen, your office, whatever you have on your bookshelf, maybe even would work. Not a milk jug. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is all you're gonna do is hold on to that weight. Uh, you're gonna start with it close to your chest, and then you're gonna squat down as low as you can um, in order to still keep a strong flat back. We don't wanna be coming up on the toes here, we don't wanna lose that back angle, so if it's just kind of a half squat, that is totally okay for today. So you're gonna get in that squat, and the first part is out. So you're gonna push that weight out. And then overhead, coming up overhead with that weight, still keeping those straight arms. We wanna see straight arms today. They start to bend, come out of that squat a little bit more in order to keep those arms straight. That's the goal for today. Then back down and into the chest again. That is one rep. So a few reps in a row, you're gonna stay in that squat, out, up. Just keep cycling through trying to maintain this squat position for the full 20 seconds as you go with that weight out and overhead in front of you. Mm -hmm. So that is that movement there. Second one is mountain climbers. There's a few variations for this one. This is the one we're gonna play with for today. You're gonna start in a good solid plank position, shoulders stacked on top of the elbows, on top of the wrists. Then from here, you're gonna send one foot as close as you can to the hand, keeping this other leg back and straight. Then from there, you're gonna switch. While that one leg that was close to the hand comes back, the other one comes up to the opposite hand. And we keep switching over and over and over as quickly and efficiently as you can. Awesome. If you need to scale this down a little bit, you can kind of do more of a step, one at a time. So get that right leg out, back, left leg out, back. And that way you can keep cycling through um, but just notching down the intensity just a little bit in order to keep moving for that full 20 seconds. So that would be a scaling option for that. Mm -hmm. So those are the mountain climbers. Third one we have are dive bomber push-ups. So we're gonna start in a down dog position. So kind of that stacked position there with head between your shoulders. From here, you're gonna skim your chest along the ground and come up into more of an up dog position or a cobra or whatever you wanna call it. Arms locked out, chest up. From here, ideally, we're going back the same exact way you got down. So still scraping that chest along the ground and then back into that down dog position there. This is definitely a difficult movement and after a few rounds, it may get hard to complete uh, these reps as you go through for the 20 seconds. So if you need to scale, first option would be to go down the same way, still skimming that chest along the ground. But from here, just shooting straight back into a down dog. Don't worry about skimming your chest on the way back. That'll kind of take off some of that pressure from the triceps and the arms there. Third option, or second option, excuse me, for scaling would be more just your standard push-up. So don't worry so much about the skimming down dog to up dog positions. We'll, we'll just work the push-up here, keeping that straight body line as you go through those reps. If that's still a little bit too difficult, totally fine. We're gonna find a ledge or a table or a chair, something that's sturdy or even a wall that you can kind of lean against. And then from here, keeping that straight body line, you're gonna go on in, keeping those elbows close, chest towards that object, and then on back. That would be another great scaling option for today. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And last one, good old lunges. Nothing too uh, intricate here, but definitely a good leg burner. As I mentioned before, think of long, wide steps every single time. So if you can see this crack in our mats here, we want to make sure that her foot goes not only far away from her, but outside of that crack as well. Perfect. So she's a good, you know, two feet away from there. We're not riding a tightrope today. Perfect. And then keep cycling through those as much as you can. If you need to kind of scale those a little bit, you can go maybe more of a reverse lunge to kind of mix up different muscle groups there. Um, but yeah, just keep cycling through those for the 20 seconds. And if you'd like to add an extra challenge to those lunges, grab that weight from the first movement and hold it nice and close so you still have a nice big chest, not hunched over at all, just 
holding it really close and lunge with it. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. So that's what we have in store for today. So we'll give you a few seconds here to go uh, pause the video and go grab those weights that you need uh, for the first movement and maybe even those lunges at the end there. And then get your station set up, get what you need to get going, and we're going to start here in just a second. Alright you guys, we're going to get going on this, starting in 10 seconds. Starting without an overheads with your weight. Go! Nice job. Again, goal here for Tabata is to keep that same number every round. So, still pushing through for that full 20 seconds. Good job, you guys. Check it out in between. Back to it. Uh, halfway through. Whew, feel that burn. Yeah. Go. Whew, good job. You guys are doing great. There's two more to go now. Last one coming up. Woo. Push through for that full twenty seconds. Now. And then 
and mountain climbers. You need to loosen up those arms, those shoulders. Do so now. We're going to be in that plank position for a good chunk of this time. Or your legs. Whew. After the workout, tell us if you are Team Lauren or Team Nathan. Are your arms hurting or are your legs hurting? <laughs> we love to know. <laughs> Ten seconds here, going into those mountain climbers. Two, one. Again, trying to keep that number or as close to it as you can in these next rounds. Go! scaling options if you need to. If you're finding yourself taking some breaks. Go. Do it. Ooh, looks like it's spicy quick. Oh, yeah. Two more. Very spicy. Yeah. You got this. Last one coming up. Good job, everybody. Wow is right. Alright, minute rest.
Shake out those legs, stretch them out. So those dive bomber push-ups next. Guys, <coughs> ten seconds. Three, two, one. Begin. As with all pushing movements, right, then keeping those elbows close as we go up and down through those. Go! And again, remember those scaling options. Rather you keep moving and drop down to one or two reps, right? Take it up. Relax. Go. One more. Struggle is real. We're almost there. <laughs> Three, two, one. <sighs> All right. Awesome job, everybody. Doing great. Those are done. Just one more movement to go. Whew. So again, we got lunges coming up. If you need to stretch out those legs, now's the time.
If you want that weight, go ahead and grab that. You have 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Go, long, wide steps. Chest upright. Good job, you guys. It's going to be easy. Go faster. <laughs> Go! Are you racing? I don't know. Maybe. Halfway there. Just four more rounds and we're done. Great. Almost there. Two, one. One. Awesome job. Take a second if you need to walk around, shake things out. Starting a good full body workout, that's for sure. All right. All right, let's stretch. Yeah. So I know we just did lunges, but we are going to hit a lunge stretch. Let's loosen up the quads, the hip flexors. Choose whatever leg you want. 
going to hit that good lunge position, right? Long and wide with that front foot. We're just going to hang out here. I want you to think of rotating your hips underneath you, not having a big arch back. This is going to allow the stretch to work a lot better through that hip flexor, top part of the quad, even into that psoas a little bit there through the core. I want you to think actively pushing those hips under you and down towards the ground. About 10 more seconds in this position. Big deep breath. Good. Let's lean forward now. Keeping the feet and legs where they are. Still that front foot should be flat. Good thing we're dropping the hips even farther down now. In addition to that hip flexor stretch on that back leg, should be getting a good kind of hamstring groin stretch through that front leg. If you can get your forearms on the ground, awesome. Just like Lauren's doing, but if not, like me, a little tight. Let's hang out here. Go as far as you can. About 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. Lastly, let's sit on back on that back leg, on that back foot. And then trying to pull this front foot towards you. If you can't quite reach that front foot, totally fine if we're just at the knee or kind of shin area, reach as far as you can, but still try to flex your toes back towards you. That way you're gonna get a good stretch through the back part of the leg all the way from the Achilles to the calf and the hamstring there. Slowly come on out of that. We're going to switch legs now. So if your left foot was forward, now your right foot's going forward. Long and wide with that step. Upright chest here, rotating the hips underneath us. Actively pushing down to increase that stretch through that hip. Let's get two big deep breaths here and through the nose, deep as you can. And out through the mouth. One more in. And out. Let's lean on forward now. Trying to sink those hips lower if possible. Keeping that chest as low to the ground as you can. Ten more seconds in this position here. Good. 
three, two, one. And just like the other side, we're gonna sit on back, reaching as far as you can, flexing that foot back towards you. Getting a good hamstring stretch here. Quick little tidbit, if you're wondering how 20 second segments totally kicked your butt, like it kicked ours. <laughs> Um, it's called Tabata, like we were saying, and the 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off methodology was um, invented and studied by Dr. Tabata in the 90s. One of the great things to come from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> and through all of his different studies on what can be the most time effective workout, he found the 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds to be the most time effective when spiking your heart rate and getting you a really good workout. So it can be applicable with any movements. Yeah. Always a great one. Anything you want to throw in. Yeah. Cool. Slowly come on out of this stretch here. We're going to hit one more quick one and then call it a day. We had a lot of arm and shoulder stuff in this one too. So we're going to hit a prayer stretch. If you have a chair or a bench, I'm going to use this workbench here. Probably might both do that. I'm going to go ahead, get your elbows or kind of the back part of the triceps here on that surface. Goal here is to have a flat back though. Hands are going to be together just like your frame, as it says in the stretch name. And then from here, you're going to try to sink your head in between your shoulder blades as far as you can while still maintaining a flat back. So really help loosen up the shoulders, open up the chest a little bit, loosen up the lats as well. If those got tight from those out and overheads. So again, we need some deep breaths in here to try to let everything loosen up as much as possible. Thing you're trying to do is maintain a flat back, let every other muscle relax. See if you can push that head a little farther through the window now that you're a bit looser. About 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one. Cool. Slowly come on out of that. All right. We're gonna call that a day. Thank you guys for joining us. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked the workout. And again, as we mentioned before, we have a lot of these workouts up now on the channel. It's always been going on for quite a while now, so we've got a good library going for you guys. <laughs> if you're looking for some other fun workouts to do throughout the week and not just on Saturdays when you post these, go check those out. Leave us comments, let us know what you want to see. Hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out, plus lets you know when these come out every Saturday. So, yeah, that's all we got. All right. That's it, you guys. Have a great day.